clitoris. I am back with another reading. In this particular reading, we're going to see if um, the person that you guys want to know about if they're coming back. We're going to see if they're coming back, if that is something that you're interested in. So, or if it's likely that they'll come back. Okay, so this reading is for my Tauruses with placements in the sun, moon, and rising signs. I also include Venus and Jupiter as well. So let's see. What is currently going on with my Tarsus? Queen of Swords. Here. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy you have going on. I see you thinking a lot. I see you possibly expecting someone about like Aries, not really looking for them or or like waiting on them to come back. I feel like right now you are you, you have this stance of if they come back, they ask better be prepared for me because I'm going to light them up. It's like you're on the lookout. Like you don't want them to surprise you. You don't want them to catch you off guard. I'm feeling here. There's still some sort of um, some kind of hurt feelings. I feel like you guys have towards the the individual that you're wondering about because maybe it's been a long time since you've heard from them. It's been a long time since you've had any communication, um, and, and probably when it left off or where it ended, you guys did not end well. Is what I'm gathering here. What's currently going on with the other person? What's currently going on with the other person? What's currently going on with the other person? And we have the magician energy here. Could definitely be a Gemini energy that um, is significant to you. This person, I feel like, is very spiritual. I feel like um, there, there's lots of things that they're trying to achieve currently. They're trying to make something happen. They're trying to get in touch with their higher selves and get in sync with the universe. Okay, This is a person right now, currently, that's really trying to go with the flow. But also, at the same time, um, use the energy around them to make something happen in their life. I feel like this person is praying a lot. They're praying a lot. Okay. What does Taurus want? What does Taurus want? We have the Two of Swords. Right now, you're not really sure. You're not really sure what it is that you want. I think things are still kind of muddled for you. And um, you're not sure what to think about the situation with this person. I think you're trying to figure that out because deep down inside, you know, for you to feel some kind of way about them, there's something still there. Okay, that's Libra energy there with the Two of Swords. What does the other person want? What does the other person want? Hmm. Okay, so that came in reverse. And that is the emperor. I think you I think this person wants to um, be able to let down their guard, okay? To let go of control issues. That came in reverse. So let me flip it back around. Um, and, and to to let somebody else lead, I feel like this person uh, is is very controlling, and they don't really like that about themselves. So I do feel like they're working on themselves here. Um, they want to be a little more feminine. They want to be able to let go and let somebody else take the wheel. Okay not so masculine you know get that nice balance of masculine and feminine energy is what i'm getting here this is aries energy <clears throat> what does taurus need what does taurus need six of wands i feel like <laughs> you guys have been stifled so 
I feel like there's a need to express yourself, to allow others to express themselves to you. Um, there's a lack of recognition that I feel like you have endured. And I, I think your confidence has been kind of shook. So to gain your confidence, um, maybe go out, maybe start dating. Some of you aren't dating. Uh, allow yourselves to be recognized and pamper this Leo energy. Okay, get more uh, movement going in your life because I, I think you're very, um, uh, what, what's the word? You think about things a lot. You contemplate a lot. And to not study things so much, but to get out and be active, have fun, okay? What does the other person need? What does the other person need? Seven of Chalices. I feel like this person needs to kind of get their head out of the clouds because they need to decide what it is that they really want. Pick something. Go for it. I feel like they need to be grounded a little bit. They are so high up and they are so in touch with like the spiritual realm and, and energy that they're not allowing themselves to live um, a mundane sort of lifestyle, I feel. I feel like this person has been really hurt and they've looked to uh, their spirituality solely as um, like a, a comforting space and so I feel like this person needs to ground themselves more and decide what it is that they really want because I think you know their their prayers and their wants and wishes are going just going out and and not having any sort of direction the Scorpio energy <clears throat> Let's see, is there someone else involved with Taurus? Taurus, are you involved with somebody? I see a two of wands there. There's somebody else in that picture. Um, but it may just be like a child or somebody that you are not... I'm not going to say fond of, but somebody that... You're not allowing yourself to truly explore anything further with. Um, it may be somebody that you work with. It may be somebody that you have put in like this friend zone um, and, and not trying to take anything to the next level with. This is also Aries energy. But um, there is possibly somebody involved, but I don't feel like you guys are looking at them seriously if there is someone involved. <clears throat> Let's see. Is the other person involved with someone? Is the other person involved with someone? Ace of Wands, possibly yes. But I feel like this is more on a sexual nature. It's, just, it's something that just start it okay so it's not really serious yet okay that fire energy there let's see is union likely between the two of you are they coming back and we have justice here I feel like there's definitely a possibility that this person is coming back. I don't really feel like they ever left you energetically is the thing though. I feel like right now there are um, things that need to be worked out on both sides is what it looks like here before you guys can come back together. Okay, you have to do the work. They have to do the work before you guys can come back together. So this is kind of up in the air. 
okay that's that Libra energy I feel strong Aries uh, for some of you guys Aries is very strong um, Scorpio is here Leo is here um, Gemini okay so that is what I have for you and I'll be sleeping with you guys soon